I don't think about it About you leaving me I don't know who I'd be Everything we built just turned to broken leaves I don't think about it Do you think of me? Walking out that door Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video on my channel. My name's Leora and I'll talk on here about books, reading, writing, sometimes other stuff as well. And today I'm here with another reading vlog. I swear I wanted to film the intro to this vlog the entirety of yesterday. Entirety, is that a word? I wanted to film an intro to this vlog yesterday, but I ended up not doing it. So I hope you enjoyed that major montage of just like footage I took. <laughs> but here I am today to actually tell you about my reading and I actually finished one of my books last night and then started a new one this morning so interesting updates here we go so first up a book that i've been reading recently and that i'm currently still reading is delicious in dungeon by ryoku kui i think that's how you say that <laughs> this is a manga guys i'm reading manga oh my god you will have to thank my nephew for this because he got me these for my birthday and i've just read the first volume and this is the second one these are so cute i've really been enjoying these i think these definitely fall into the whole uh sort of cozy fantasy genre which you all know love it so we basically follow a bunch of adventurers that go down this dungeon and they are trying to save somebody who was eaten by a dragon not very practical. Whilst they go through the dungeon, they learn to cook, live off the scary monsters and creatures and strange fruits and things that grow in the dungeons. It's like a cookbook, like a fantasy cookbook. It's like not real, like you can't cook this obviously, but like the whole story sort of centers on them and the things they hunt and cook. So this for example is a golem field fresh veggie lunch. It's just so fun. I don't know how to explain, but it's just incredibly fun to read. I think these are some more of the creatures that they're going to eat in this volume. So very exciting. Can't wait to read it. And then the book I wasn't really enjoying. And I mean, I've had like a bunch of five stars recently. So it seems fair that I've now read one, which I really didn't like. Um, that is The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. This really came as a surprise to me because I've loved his other two books. Like I've really enjoyed my best friend's exorcism and i've also really enjoyed reading the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires i thought both of those were really good there was definitely some things in there that i didn't like um in the way he wrote about women mental health sometimes i was like is he trying to sort of make a satire out of this thing or like does he really think this and i wasn't really sure what was going on but there was something very intelligent and interesting and funny and heartfelt about both of those books did not have that with this one at all. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the characters. One of the characters has a lot of panic attacks and she's very paranoid. And although I relate, I still just disliked her a lot. I didn't like any of the characters. This story is basically about the final girl. So like all sorts of different girls who survived a massacre multiple times and who've killed their attackers. And they have like this therapy support group, but then somebody starts killing them off. Uh, so something is going on. Now, that premise is really good, but I just, uh, it just felt like a wild goose chase with like a plot that didn't make sense to me personally. There were some scenes in there that I thought were kind of funny, but like it didn't have the humor and like cleverness I feel like his other books have. Might just be my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I still need to read his like Ikea book. I keep forgetting what it's called. I think Horror Store. Calling it Ikea book is just so much more fun. And then this is the book I've just started. This is A Natural Magic by C.M. Wegener. Look at that cover. I'm obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. And also this art on the first title page. Stunning. I love it. It's so pretty. This is about a girl, Honor, and she's basically a math prodigy. And in this world, math sort of controls magic. You have to like do mathematical things to... That's the magic system. And it's my worst nightmare. Imagine one day you find out magic is real and it's math. <laughs> I'd be so mad because it's like the one thing I'm really, really bad at, you know? Numbers. 
I'd be so upset. Anyway, Anna's not upset because she's like a mathematical prodigy. And then basically she tries to get into this magic school that her best friend, who's a boy, who she's also sort of in love with, um, also got into. And it's like a magic school up in the city. And then we also follow this troll who's sort of not loving the life she's living. There's trolls and humans in this world. And humans have magic because the trolls gave them the magic. So far the world is really cool, everything's really interesting. I'm like at that phase of the fantasy book where I'm just like very confused but definitely entertained. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on but I love me some magic and it just seems really interesting so far. The humour is good, I love when a book is funny so having a great time. That was my little reading update. I've been working for my shop updates, it might be live already when this video goes live. So if my new products are live, check them out. Mm, I'm very excited but this week I have to pack a bunch of orders because I'm having a sale and yeah. Tonight I'm going to visit my sister, so I'm very excited for that as well. Wil jij ook in de vlog? Dat was een echte Nederlander. <laughs> Everybody. So I went to see my family. We had some dinner with my nephew as well at his new place and I had a really good time. And since yesterday I've just mostly been working, uh, prepping for my new shop update and also packing some seal orders because there was a seal in my web shop last week. So I've been very busy with all of that. I have managed to read some more, mostly in a natural magic. And that book has taken a wildly different turn than what I was expecting because I really felt like going off of the description on the back and stuff. It was a story about a young girl wanting to go to magic school and also a story about this troll who was dealing with these troll murders and potentially them coming together and trying to solve them together and I think that is still going to happen at some point in the book. But right now we've mostly followed the troll's perspective as she finds a human soldier and she sort of saves him because he's a deserter and they sort of I don't know, I feel like they're starting to fall in love. So I'm full on reading like a troll x human romance right now. Did not see that coming. And like, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be smart as well. And I'm just like flabbergasted because I did not know that was what this book was gonna be. But I do have to admit, I'm kind of having a good time. <laughs> just me casually reading some troll x human smut. <laughs> I mean, there's no smut yet. But the thing is, it's just such a funny, light-hearted book, but the plot is still pretty good, like the plot is plotting. I do feel let down, we have not read as much from the girl's perspective as I thought we would have. Um, there's some characters in her perspective, especially Sai, I find him so stupid. Like honestly girl, stop wasting your time on him. So she's trying to get into this magic school, and yeah, very exciting to read. I'm just like, the perspectives are a little bit unbalanced, like we've read a lot from the Trolls POV and not a lot from hers. So I don't feel as attached to her, you know? And like every time she comes back in the POV I'm like, oh right, she was here as well. <laughs> Which is funny because in the beginning you start with her POV, so I got very attached to her and then when we got into Sira's POV, which is the troll, I was like, what about Honor though? But now we're at, like, now it's turned around, so that's interesting. I'm really enjoying that read. I have not read any manga anymore, but I'll update you on that if I read any more in that as well. So today I'm just working. My parents just came over for some coffee, had a really good time. I need to do a lot more shop things, so I'm gonna go back to that in a minute. But I just got a very, very exciting PR package in the mail. Okay, sorry for the hysterics, but I'm just very excited. If you've been watching my channel for a bit longer, you know that I love vintage fashion. I love the 70s, the 90s, sometimes even the 80s and the 60s as well. I just love old stuff, like in general. I love vintage home stuff. I love like 
old librarian stuff, but I also love the 70s. And I work in a vintage store, for those of you who don't know, like a part-time job like to support my art things if that doesn't go as well. So I have a big passion for vintage clothing. One of my favorite new clothing brands that makes 70s style clothing reached out to me if I wanted to do a collaboration and I was like, oh my god, yes. So today the package has come in and I cannot wait to unbox it and show you guys the items that I picked from their new collection. So this is from the Hippie Shake. I'm just very excited because it's one of my favorite like small um, sustainable businesses and I've ordered from them before. So it's incredible that right now they sent me some stuff. I'm just like very excited. I'm not sure like what they sent me because I got to pick a few items from the new collection. So I just sent a bunch of stuff that I liked but I don't know like what specifically they picked out. So this is a lot of rambling. I'm just very excited about this. It's so fun like if a brand that you've spent your own money on wants to then collab with you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there's many more items in there than I expected to receive. This is so exciting. Oh, okay, so I was most excited for this one sundress and it seems as if they've sent it to me. <laughs> okay, so let's start with this little scarf because it's the smallest item that I got. I am planning on doing a try on as well, but I'll do that on TikTok, I think. I'm planning on doing like a little styling video. I've been doing a lot more fashion videos on TikTok and Reels and I've really been having a good time. If you've followed me for a long time, you know that I also used to do like fashion YouTube and fashion influencing, but I haven't done that for years now. So it's been fun to get a little bit back into it on Instagram and TikTok. Look at this scarf. So cute. Love it. That's really nice. I have like an entire drawer in my cabinet full of scarves. I have an insane amount of scarves, but this is a great addition. Okay, and then I got this embroidered denim jacket. It is so cute. I really hope it fits well. Oh, I just love the hippie shake. I'm so, so excited they wanted to work with me. I know my mother is gonna also be absolutely obsessed with this. <laughs> oh my God, and look at the back. It's so cute, I love it. Okay, let me try that on. This is gonna look very denim on denim, kind of weird with this outfit, but just ignore that. Ah! So excited that's adorable this is like the perfect spring jacket oh it is so cute and the denim feels really very nice as well you guys really need to check out the hippie shank because all of their items are so cute oh my god <laughs> oh what a dream i'm sorry but i need to put that on right now that's stunning this is the kind of thing you would find in a vintage store and be like it better fit me and now i've just gotten it Okay, ignore the mess please, but oh my god, that is so cute. I'm obsessed. It's like a 70s dream. <laughs> Hi, I properly got ready with this dress the way I would style it and I feel adorable. Mm. So cute. I'm just filming like some little TikToks in this look now. But I'm off to the bookstore because I'm going to buy a present for my friend. It was her birthday a few weeks ago and we're hanging out today. And I'm not really sure what the rest of the day is going to bring me. I was still packing some orders this morning, which I didn't want to do. But then I ended up doing it anyway. You know, sometimes you don't want to work. But then you end up working anyway because you love your job. And then like... I'm a planning queen. <laughs> that was my little update. I will update you on the reading later. Promise. So I really hope you enjoyed that 
quite random montage of me and my mom on a boat trip. <laughs> we did a little outing to Amsterdam and we went book shopping, went on a boat. We had lunch at this really great place that has amazing cheesecakes. It's like an American bakery type of thing. I've showed it in my vlog before actually, because it's like one of my favorite places in Amsterdam. It's called the Drie Graafjes and I always love the location on the Egertstraat because they have multiple locations as well. It's a wonderful spot, great lunch. My advice to you if you ever go to Amsterdam. And we also went to this fantasy store. It's called Chimera Shop. Uh, you're not allowed to film inside, which is so unfortunate because their store literally looks like a magical forest. It is so beautiful and so whimsical. And if you're ever in Amsterdam, I highly recommend you visit their store. It is so cute and they have amazing whimsical witchy jewelry and stuff like that. Um, it's on Domstraat 7 and it's so amazing. I bought this necklace there. Look, it's a little magical key with a gemstone. I feel so whimsical right now. And of course, I already said so. We went to the bookstore and I bought some books. Like, who would I be if I didn't buy books in the bookstore, right? We were also there so I could check it out because there's a bookstore in Amsterdam that I might be getting to sell my products at, which would be amazing because that means some of you guys, if you visit Amsterdam, you could shop my products in store. It's not all set yet. And I'm not going to share which bookstore because I'm not sure like if it's going to go through, but it would be amazing. So yes, let's hope so. Anyway, the books that I bought, I picked up two books. The first one is Murder at the Bookstore by Sue Minix. It's so cute. It looks so extremely cozy and I've been super into cozy fantasy and cozy mystery. And this just looks so cute. The story is about Jen and she's a writer and she returns back to her small hometown because she has writer's block. And she usually writes about crime, but this time she gets to investigate a real life crime because the bookstore owner gets murdered. So very exciting, looks absolutely cozy. Look at that armchair. I kind of want to sit in there and pat that cat. So it <laughs> looks amazing, love it. And then the second book I picked up, I had never heard of this one. I didn't know this was a thing. This is the Frugal Wizards Handbook for Surviving Medieval England by Brandon Sanderson. I think it's a YA, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> like don't, don't quote me on that. A man awakens in a clearing in what appears to be medieval England with no memory of who he is, where he came from or why he is here. Best-selling author Brandon Sanderson meshes Jason Bourne and epic fantasy in this captivating adventure that throws an amnesiac wizard into time travel shenanigans and his only hope of survival lies in recovering his missing memories. So of course, when I heard about the time travel, I had to read this. I read the first page in the bookstore, which is a thing I do if I'm like not sure if I want to get a book and it was very funny and the cover is also stunning it has this gold foiling and time travel if something has time travel give it to me I would love to read it I really still want to make a video about like time travel books so if you're up for that let me know because I, I need to do that and this is the last book that I bought and you might be thinking Leora you already have a copy of this and it's true I do already have a copy of this <laughs> but this is such a pretty edition and it's a book I really love so this is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett which is by no means a perfect book by the way because there's some troubling things happening in this book it's a product of its time unfortunately but it is a beautiful classic and this edition is sort of embroidered and it's so well done because like the inside is like the back end of the embroidery it's just oh it's so cool I absolutely love it it's so cute it also has this sort of um, you can feel it like that it's fake embroidered. It's so stunning. Where you tend a rose, a thistle cannot grow. Ah, I love it. Then I wanted to show you guys some random things that I picked up whilst we were shopping. <laughs> because you know, your girl loves the fall time and autumn and we are nearing autumn, finally. I had to get some cute things and I got this, like the way I'm caressing it. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> So this is by North Muse and I have a lot of candles from North Muse because they're one of my favorite candle brands. They always have stunning designs and they all smell so good. This is the Magical Woods candle in clear quartz vanilla and it has this really cute squirrel on there. Fun fact, squirrel in Dutch is acorn, which is so confusing on so many levels. Anyway, it kind of smells like a really sweet chai tea and it's just really good. I've been burning it already. It's awesome. And then I got this candle, which is a mushroom. <laughs> I love it. I bought this at TK Maxx. It's the best thing that has ever happened to me. This candle, that is a mushroom. <laughs> now for reading updates. I've literally not read a single page in Delicious in Dungeon, which is, I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I guess I just didn't get to it. I wasn't in the mood for it, but I have read a lot more in Unnatural Magic by CM Wegener. And this book is like so not what I thought it would be. Like I already shared that in the last clip, 
but the storylines are taking a lot longer to intertwine and to come together than I was expecting them to. And it feels like maybe the climax will be really good, but maybe it'll also be like, hmm, the main plot or what we were led to believe was the main plot by the blurb is like not really the main plot. I have no problem with that personally, but like, so the troll x human romance has happened and the troll smut has also happened. And I can tell you it was actually quite nice. <laughs> Oh god, guys, what have I come to? I think every reader goes through this phase where they're like, am I a fantasy nerd? Is it a bad thing that I'm a fantasy nerd? And then you come to this point where you're like, I don't care, I am a nerd, it's fine. So Anna is now learning about magic and she's really discovering some new things and she's also been roped into the investigation of the troll murders with the local investigators, which is really interesting. There's also something happening between her and this other wizard that's not the guy from home, so I'm very pleased about that. It's like, it's still up and coming, but you know, I have a good feeling about it. Oh, the book matches my nails. So exciting. Anyway, really excited to see where it's gonna go and how it's gonna wrap up in the end. I hope it's gonna go well. I hope they're gonna solve it. Don't know if this is a series, so if there'll be any more parts, but maybe. Then another thing I wanted to share in this vlog, which is not really fun, but I do feel like I kind of want to talk about it. This morning, I found out that Taemu and Shein have both stolen my designs. <laughs> So my tote bag design, the reader design, um, has been stolen and been used by them. So they are selling it now. Of course, this is not allowed, but these websites, they do not care at all. They just do it anyway. So I'm extremely sad about this. It's, it's very disheartening as an artist to see them just like steal your work, like just like that. And there's not really anything you can do about it. Like I filed a claim with Tamu for copyright infringement, but I don't know if they're gonna pick that up, if they're gonna take that seriously because I've looked around and they literally do it all the time. They use all sorts of artists, their work. And I just, I feel awful for anybody who, who this has happened to. And, and I feel just awful in general because you feel so powerless. Like what am I gonna do about this, you know, against like such a huge corpor corporation. So my whole day today has kind of been tainted by that. I'm not really sure what to do other than report it, which I've done. And then now I'm just trying to make like as big a fuss about it as possible because it's just awful. Like how are they able to do this and just get away with it constantly? So I'm just gonna talk about it nonstop everywhere um, for now at least, because I just want people to make a fuss about this because it's unacceptable that they just, it's the exact same design. They just took my work. I just wanna really tell you guys to not shop with these websites. Like don't shop on there, just don't do it. They are stealing people's designs. And then I'm not even talking about like the other issues that she and, and other companies have with like worker conditions and stuff, which is all just extremely awful. So just shop small, shop your products with a small, nice business or just like a business you know that is like a normal business, but preferably shop small. Like you don't even have to shop my stuff, just shop small because you'll make an artist so happy. But if you do want to help me specifically, you can always shop my art, share my art online, comment on my art, share my reels, stuff like that always helps me and my business out a lot. And I'm thankful to all of you guys for the way you already shop my art and stuff like that. Not a great note to end this vlog on, but you know, it's a part of life as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. If you want to support me, you can shop through my website, leoraeileen.com to shop my art. And you can always share my work or videos or art on Instagram, etc. That always helps me out a lot as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below whether you enjoyed it. And if you don't know what to comment, leave a nice boat emoji. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see all of you in my next one. Bye.